you see it right um yes yes okay okay let's start so technically as i said that we have a really short lecture uh, the lecture is like consist of 50 page but i know that you guys don't love to listen just a lecture so i will uh keep it short if you guys confuse in anything you can ask me and i'm gonna show you walk around with the coding for like 30 minutes 30 minutes in lecture 30 minutes in coding and then it's it's is done and i have like a 30 minute more for the q a section that if you guys confuse you guys ask me for more example or whatever okay let's start the lecture so today we're gonna learn about the c5 processing how we're gonna read the file write the file this is exactly what we do on the actual working right uh because we not just put a uh, tire the data on our keyboard and pin out on the terminal like most of the module we learn in the in the real world we have to read from the file right so that is why we learn this and also it's really important to your project because your project gonna use the c5 processing a lot okay so at first we have to talk about bit uh, bit is stand for the binary digit. I think most of you are gonna know about it, right? Bit is a num a, a consist of two number. It's one and zero. It mean one and zero. You, uh, it mean two four. It mean high low in the computer circuit or whatever. It's the basically the computer language because computer only know binary digits, right? That is why it's very really important to study about bit. So, basically, when when we learn about bit, it mean we can uh use bit to represent anything as for that gender i say that okay female are gonna represent as zero male is as one something like that but when we have um uh, a lot of cars to be represents like it's more than two cars then how we can represent in bit so basically we use multiple bit like this one so uh if i like the skin do you see it uh have you seen my square you see it right I think you're gonna see it. Okay, if you uh have uh, four cast of people, a single in relationship, married, divorced, something like that, how are you gonna represent in bit? So basically, you need two multiple bit and represent that. Okay, if zero zero means single, zero one means in relationship, one zero is married, and eleven is mean sorry not even one one is mean divorce, something like that. Okay. So if we have more than four, we have a lot of the group, a lot of the cards, how we can represent in bit. So technically we can use uh, this rule of thumb, this one. So if you would like to represent uh, uh, multiple cards and bits, and how many bit we're gonna need, you need two power bit. So basically mean that, okay, if, uh, if I have five bit, it means that I can represent two power by five, cars or basically it means that I can represent 32 cars. So basically if I have like 64 cars to represent, it means that, let me, uh, right? If I have 64, sorry, 64 cars of people, I need to represent in bit. So it means that it's two power by six, right? So basically it means that I need six bit to represent it. This is the rule of thumb. But if you ask me that, okay, if we have like 100, we have like 50, it's not gonna fit in the two power by something. How are we gonna represent it? It's, it's still really easy in the next. Uh, uh, so basically you're gonna know about the, uh, the, the power of two, right? If two power by zero is one, two power by one is two, is four, is eight, 16, 32, 64, one, two, eight, and, and whatever. So basically if you, need to know that okay i have this number of cars then how many bit i gonna need well basically you just pick the right one that is greater it is smaller sorry it's the first character than you or it basically i mean that okay if you have a hundred cars you're gonna see at first okay i have a hundred cars one is not enough two is not enough four is not enough eight is not enough right 16 32 64 is not enough then you you miss the you hit the 128, it start to be greater than the card that you have. So basically mean, okay, I use this bit and you count it. Okay, this is zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It mean that you need seven bit to represent 100 cards. But beware something that when you like the program to find the exact bit, you have 
check the eco uh, case. So we see what it means is that, okay, if you have exactly 128 cards to represent, your program have to uh, file that, okay, 128 is the bit that we're gonna need. So what I have to say is just basically, when you have all of cards of data and you have to represent in binary bit, then you have to calculate how many bits you're gonna need to represent it. So the rule of thumb is two power by n. That is the total bit you're gonna need. If I can go too far or whatever, you can uh, ask me in that in this time, or you can ask me in the Q and A section later. Okay, let's move on. I don't think this is something you don't need to know that much. Okay, and I say that bit is uh in the computer memory because. Uh, binary is something computer use as a computer language and they have to use it so often it's not good for them to start uh, to understand the text language Thai language english language or uh, in the, the 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 number that we can we we talk in our usual like like 10 100 thousand two thousand something like that computer not gonna know about it that is why it's really important to learn about binary bit but let's talk more uh in that okay so one thing that is very, very, very important part to know about when you would like to, to, to make the memory, to make the computer know about what you're gonna write is the type of the variable. So basically you have learned that, okay, we have a lot of variable to, sorry, where is my mouth? Oh, 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 oh sorry. What, what happened? Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I gotta show in, in this format. Okay, okay. So uh, you have like uh, the character in double or whatever you learn in the car that is the different type of variable is mean the different memory that you use, the different of the limit that it can take, how much number it can take or whatever, right? So you have to use this type of variable in the light way because it's not waste the memory, it's not gonna waste your time or whatever. So uh, I think you're gonna know about it, but I will remind you again that, okay, the character is consists of eight bit, eight binary. So it represent number of zero to two five five. And the integer is uh, it will be 16, 23, 64, it depend on the, 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 the compiler, the language to use, but mostly in the C is have a 16 bit and it's gonna can uh, hold the value of uh, zero to two power by 16 minus one, or it basically means six five five T five. But in most case of the computer is have to carry the negative value, right? So it's not gonna start with zero. It start by the negative value first. And then, so basically it can hold half the value because they have to put another half in the negative side, something like that. So 32 bit, 64 bit are different in the each compiler is computer language, but it just mean that it can contain more than number. It have much greater limit to contain the number. The double is something you learn that it exactly uh, keep the floating point. So it means it have to uh, store a lot of uh, value in it. So it contains 64 bits. Right, that is, it's just uh, about the variable you have learned in the first class, but I have to remind you again because it's really important in the in the file processing. So basically, it's a this is one that rule of thumb that I'm gonna say again that okay, short is mean that just short. You just store a, a, a short amount of integer, a short amount of number, then integer, then long. You have to exactly think about it. And also we can create a, a limit in, in a header file that we can say that, okay, we have the integer mag, integer mean, something like that. You can, you can create the, uh, the constraint by yourself in the another file and let the program uh, lead about the limit. And then it can, it can define the rocket and small like, value on the integer you're gonna put in the system, something like that. But don't overthink about it, just remember, the important thing is remember the each variable size. That is the important thing. I gonna go is very, very fast because I don't would like to put long lecture. Okay, and I said it's a loop of some. This one, shy can uh, contain small value, short is 
uh, integer as in small value also, but character or char is really, really small, and the long is really large value, something like that. Uh, the biggest reason why I have to say about it is that it has something is named overflow. Overflow is like you in the bathtub. If you have uh, two small bathtub and you uh, uh, put yourself in the bathtub, the water are overflow, right? So the the thing to prevent the overflow is you uh, increase the volume of the bathtub. But it means it's waste your money. It means it wastes your memory. It's the same thing in the computer. If you use too small, the variable, it means that overflow will happen. But if you use too large variable, it means that it's waste your money. So you have to think about it carefully. So what happened is this. I'm not gonna show about this, but I talked to you that, okay, all of you remember that I say that, okay, uh, character or SHA can contain number zero to two, five, five, right? So when you add, you add one on it, it become two, four, two, five, four, right? Two, five, four. Sorry, do you see my, okay, two, five, four. Again, when you put more, you add one more, it's gonna be two, five, five, right? Two five five, but then if you add one more, it will be over four because it will be two five six. But as I say that, but as I say that, okay, uh, the the char or the character can contain zero to two five five. When you add more value, or uh, add more number of whatever you did, and it exceeds the limit, it will be over four, and it will be uh make your program uh list out in the long format, in the long answer, something like that. So you have to think carefully about it. Oh, sorry. Let me go. Okay, I'm, I'm come back. Okay, next slide is... Uh... Okay, and I say that you learn about the, uh, the, a lot of variable in the, in, in the file, in the C, so then we learn about the structure also, right? We learn about the structure. Okay, we can, uh, like, then we would like to make a uh, cafeteline. We have a main dish, we have a starch dish, vegetable, we have a meal pie, something, whatever like this. And then you want to get a structure that represents the, the, the dish, the pies of the entire cafeteline. So what you have to do is you create a structure. You have to create a structure like this. This is what you learn in the card. You name type def stacks. You define what is uh, inside the structure and then you name it, the name of the structure. And when you would like to use it, you just use name of the structure, the name of variable, and then put all the thing that you would like to take. Like, okay, I have a main this start this vegetable is a, Will parmesan, mashed potato, green bean for the pie of 300, something like that. This is exactly you learn in the structure. So, it's, so the important thing about is that, okay, you have a structure, you have a referencing, and I'm gonna uh, remind you all of that. But why I talk about the structure is that because you have to know the size of the structure. Uh, Right, okay, here. Yeah. So basically, you know the side of the character, side of the integer, side of the long, side of double, right? That, right? But when you define your own variable, like structure, how are you gonna know side of it? The basic way to know the side of the, your structure is to use side of. So basically, the uh, side of you can, may use in the fget, like this fget input, side of input, standard in. This means that, okay, we have input from the standard in, we use the side of input as an input, something like that. But we can use this in our structure. What is meaning that I show in the slide? Oh, uh, why is that? 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 Sorry. Okay, this one, this one, it may look complicated, it's may look complicated, but let me look together. Okay, uh, we have a program about CPE 100, right? We have a lot of the variable, a lot of variable in this. And then we have uh, our structure. This is our type of structure, the variable. 
we uh, conceive of temperature, humidity, and wind, something like that. And we're gonna know each side of, of everything. So basically at first, I pin the all the side of all the collector, integer, long integer, short integer, double, four, something like that. And it's gonna show you like this. This is the side of anything. Side of character is one. Side of integer is four. Long integer eight. Short integer two. Double eight. Four four. So in this format, but then I would like to show you uh another way of the side of like how the side of in value in value. What is in value? In value I I collect I keep the sorry. Let me change the color. Be purple. Okay. It, in value is 20, right? So I pin the side of in value. So it's been four. Why it's been four? Because uh, we declare it at a variable integer, right? And we know that side of integer is four. So basically I mean if I ask the side of the in value, the variable that I show, at, that I say the variable as an integer. So it's gonna be exactly same thing, right? But if I ask them to pin as a pointer, this one, I, I say that uh, this one is the pointer of in value. And I ask them to pin the side of in value, it's pin eight. It will be double because we are looking for the pointer. And if I ask to pin out the, the character of 20, 20 character, and they say that message have 20 character, right? So I ask the sign of message is gonna be in 20, something like that. And then if we looking in our structure, the writer day, the I, I say that, okay, writer day is Thursday. So I ask the side of the Thursday, it's gonna be in 24. And if you look closely, the double, the double, the character. This one, you know that the double take what? Take eight, right? Double take eight. Two double is gonna be 16. And we add one character. Then it should be 17, right? Because we know that, okay, one double is eight. Uh, one character is one. Why we put two double and one character? It show at 24. It should show, it should show 17, right? Why you show 24? You know why? Because uh, when the structure created, it's gonna be used the raskets side of, of the type. What does it mean that, okay, if you have like one double and 10 character or whatever, then it will assume that all of the data you have is 10, 10 double. So it will use the raskets size of the, the variable in that structure. So if in your stack you have like one double and the less integer is gonna think that all the data you have is double. If all the data you have, so, so and I say that it will be assumed that all the data are padding, or it mean that if you use the raspberry side of the, the variable you have. Okay. And then if I use argue that, okay, well, we see the better day week seven, it means that I'm gonna get the data of Monday, Tuesday to Sunday or whatever. And, and I add the side of the week, it's gonna show 160 eggs because I, we call it weekday at 24, I add them for seven unit. So you're gonna show 160 eggs. I think this is clear for you now, right? Let me go next about the five. Okay, this is the important part. The first one is just about the size, about the pointer, about the stack to remind all of that, but this is the important one. So uh, when we write the data, we have a uh, binary file and text file. The text file is something we know about it. I say that my name is Amon Man Kong. I like it as a man, Amon Man Kong. People are gonna know what I like, right? But when I write it as a binary, it's gonna be like zero, zero, one, one, zero, or whatever. It's really hard for normal people, like normal human to read it and understand it, right? But for the uh, machine, if you write it as a binary, it will be good for them because they not have uh, to convert the text that you write to be the binary and then they try to understand it. You write in the binary first, it will make your computer run so fast. And it also reduce the, the speed, the storage or whatever. Let's talk about it later. But, 
and I say that a lot of things in the world, in the computer world, we have uh, used in tech file and binary file. A lot of stuff that you know that like you are your C sort file, the the file sort that you like the pin f integer you make for loop or whatever are in C sort file is in tech format because it's bit easy for human to 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 understand it, right? The CSV data, the 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 database that put in the CSV, the HTML file, the website, or whatever, is uh is still in a tech file, tech format because it's easier for human to understand it. Another thing is in the binary files, what is this? The music file, the video file, the image file are right in the binary file because we don't need to know exactly what is this. We just make it convenient for the computer to know about it and then it's convert to be image, convert it to be music, convert it to video to make us understand it. So it's, it's no need to be right in text file. In the Excel spreadsheet also, and in the C execute table file, the, the C that after you compile the sort file, it's gonna be the C execute to make the computer much more convenient to working with it. And also one thing that you have to be careful is about the sad in so that uh, so that in the, the the thing that you hit the enter or whatever. Uh in take file, you're gonna see that you're not gonna see the sad in, right? Uh, sometimes you may see it, but uh, in in binary file, it's really crucial thing to to turn it to the binary. So whatever I mean is that okay, okay. When you like, uh, hi, my name, my name is Anon Mankong. So you you can read it and you know it's okay. It's have an enter, but when it's turned to be the binary or in some take file format, is uh, really need to have a backslash n to be something right at this because computer do not know when you hit the enter in your text format, so they have to see at a slash n to turn it to be the binary to make the data accurate. Something about it you don't have. So sometimes when you like read the data and you found that uh, I give it ten character, why my data have twelve character or thirteen character, something like that. You have to think about the N symbol, the enter symbol, the slash N symbol, something like that. That is may consist in your data and it will be increased the storage that you not never know, something like that. Be careful about it. Okay, let's talk about file. When we prepare file, when we open file, we read file, when we write file, something is really important is the pointer. The pointer basically means that is a pointer to looking, but this is your file. So you have to familiar with pointer is very important for the file. The, the process to do is, is just very easy. Then it's first is prepare the file. And you have to look that is is successful, open it or write it or whatever. Because uh, if you unsuccessful to uh, open the file and you try to write the stuff or read the stuff, we're gonna cause a mess. So what the first that you need is you check that your file that you're opening a success or not. And if not, you have to handle the error and maybe start the prepare process again, or maybe tell the user that it's all happened. But if it's successfully, you just read and write the data and then don't forget to free the result or it means that cause the file. So basically it means that, okay, I ask you to write something or read something, you have a book. At first you have to prepare file or it means that you find the book. If you don't file the book, you have to say that it's earlier, you don't file the book. And then if you file the book, you open the page, you read it, you write it. After that, what is you need is you close the book and put it in the same page, in, in, in the same space. So if you read it and you like lay down your book on the table, sometimes it may cost other in for next people, something like that. So don't forget to close the file and don't forget to check that the file exists or not. And you have to learn about different function return different thing when the other occur, like F get gonna return now, F scan is gonna occur EOF, F is gonna return zero, something like that. You have to, to familiar with it to check that, okay, it's all have happened or not. And also when you would like to write and read, it's basically you, the bill as write, 
and R at risk. So basically mean that, okay, this time we're gonna just read the data. You used R argument to read it. And when you would like to write the data, you use the bill and write it. And then you may ask me what is RB and the bill B is standing for. It means that read in binary format and write in a binary format that I have said at the first page. That is uh, when you read and write in binary format, it will be good for the computer or whatever. But uh, you may confuse about it. Let me show the, the, the code. So what exactly you have to do is that you create the pointer of your file. You say this file is gonna be pointer. I'm gonna say that it's a pointer input of now. And then I try to use this pointer, use thing like this. If open is mean that you open the file or you, fi you find the book. And then the, my file name is you specify the file name uh, where the book is, where the file is. And then the second argument is that to tell them that you're gonna read or write, or you're gonna read in take, read in binary or whatever. So basically it's like that. You specify the file pointer, you name it. Uh, you, you don't need to say now, but it's really good to say now to, to prevent the error sometime. You use that pointer P input and then open the file your file name and the argument of what you're gonna do it. Okay. Then it's just that. Next is, uh, uh, let me show you. Okay, this is what you need to do. Basically in every time you try to write or read the file. Okay, I may say that, okay. I uh, have a file pointer p out file now, something like that. This is a basic thing we need to do. You say that, okay, where is file name is, I say that, okay, student dot that. So I define the file name and they say that, okay, the pointer that I use at first, if open the file name and the bill b, is mean that I'm gonna write it at the binary. And then you have to check right this. Okay, if, if the p out of file is, give you now, it mean that it can't open the file name that you said. So it mean that earlier have occurred. So you have to like have an if else statement to check that earlier have occurred or not. And if you found that, okay, P out file are not now, it mean that you can start to doing something. So this is really crucial. You have to check every time when you write a file. Okay, at first is F open, this means you open the file, right? And then uh, it's uh, gonna be uh, F write, it means you write the file. How you're gonna write the file is really, do, it look really complicated, but it's this. So the thing, the last argument is your file pointer, your file pointer. And then how many times you're gonna write? The size of it, it write you're gonna write. So to basically, if I, okay, I would like to write, uh, uh, 10 sting, each thing is 20 in character size. So basically I mean the main side you tell 20 character size. And uh, in the third argument you say 10 times sting. And then the royal P sorts is mean that the pointer of the data you want to write. So like, I would like to write this thing. You're gonna put this thing in here, something like that. It's, it's really complicated, but let me show you later on the on on the file card on the file later. So oh, this is basically what you're gonna do, and I say that okay. This is full step you need to do. At first, you have the data set. Is it mean the test data or whatever you have twenty of data is an uh, integer. You say that, okay, I have open, I have a pointer of the file. You say now at first, you open it as a write binary. You name the file, my test dot bin, dot binary in the bin, okay. And then you check the, that is PL is not now or not, because if it's now, you have to show it as an error. That is, you can open the file. And then if you can open the file, you have to write it. Okay, I'm gonna write the test data, the test data is mean this, right? The, 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 the number. And then each time I write the size of integer because if data are integer, right? And how many data I have? I, I say as for that we have 20 data. So it means I say like this, okay, 20 time. 
and then PL, the pointer of the phi. So basically what we do is that, okay, we're gonna write to the, this pointer of phi in the side of integer, been how many times, 20 times, because we have 20 data in the test count, and then where the data is, data are test data. So we say like this, test data, something like that. And then what is the, the, the this one show, what does this one mean? So when you write it, if you say write 10 times, the function is gonna turn 10. If you ask them to write thousand times, the function is gonna turn thousand, right? So basically when you write 10,000 times, but the function not be turned 10,000 times, it means that some of the write process are earlier. So you're gonna check it that, okay, I use that, okay, we're gonna pin 20 times and I check that it is 20 or not. If it's not, I gonna show the error, something like that. It also, the F cause is mean that we have to cause the book or cause the file. And if the cause process uh, are working correctly, it's gonna return zero. But if it's not, it's gonna turn some number. So you have to check also that, okay, the F course is not going to return you any number. If it's going to return you any number, it means that it's earlier have occur. So that is all the process you need. You need uh, to open, uh, here the point of your file, you open your file as a read or write in binary format or in text format. Every time you open it, you have to check it, it's not now because it now it means that this other have occur. If you would like to write it, you have carefully have four argument, the, the data you're gonna write, the size of the data, how many data you're gonna write is, and then the pointer of the file. And then you have to check that the exactly return the same amount of data you would like to write to check the other are not occur. And then you have to cause this and check the other also. So that is the rule of thumb when you write to uh, read or write a file. But in the read process, you do not need the if write. Okay, that's all. This is um, this is another way to 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 work with it. It's not. It's fine. If I my input is a ba 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 ba. Okay. Let's tie this later. Looking for the other thing first. Okay, then as I say, you have heard that about the structure. Uh, the the first the first quarter show about the integer, the collector, right? But uh, when we do the the real programming, we have to use structure. Then how are we gonna write the structure? So basically it's still easy. That is to exactly do the same thing. So you have, you define your structure, you define your data. Okay, we have January, have 31 day, February, have 19, uh, 29 day, something like that. Uh, I assume that, okay, you open it correctly and you have checked it, everything, no other happening. Then you would like to write the, January data on your file. So basically you say F write the January, the size of E data. So basically you generally consider of 23 stacks of vector day T. So basically you mean you, you say size of the vector day T, this one, right? And then generally have 31 days. So you write 31 time to the PL, the pointer to the file. And you check that is write 31 time or not. If you not display the error, that is. Again, the same as the fab variety, you have doing the exactly same thing, but it's have 29 day. So you check that it's 29 day or not. If not, is display the error. And then don't forget to cause the file and check that it's work correctly or not. So then all of it, all of the thing that we're gonna learn, um, sorry, what is it? Um, okay, is it uh, another way to uh, 
because the data when when you get the data and uh, it's not come in as a as a text file come in binary or whatever you have a lot of way to to look at the file to pick at the file and this way you're gonna see hex dumps on the see better info something like that it gonna really turn you something like that it's, it's really hard to read but it's like a way to pick in the binary file format but whatever you ready to use this one just another way to to look in the binary file contents the convenient way is just you create your own uh, c programming read it and binary and try to read it okay did this show you the 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 read process the read process is this the f reads Basically the same thing as the F right, just different the F read and F right. So you say the five pointer, how many data you're gonna read, the size of your data, and where the pointer of the data you're gonna read. So basically it's very easy. I say this one not a uh, pointer of data you're gonna read, pointer the data you're gonna put it on. Uh, make you understand it, they show the code. This one. So you have uh you create your own uh, test data map count. You uh the last time we created the program to write a data map count test data to the file, right? Okay, this time we're gonna read it. So I know that I'm gonna get a test data, but I don't know the the data inside. So I create variable first, the integer test data with 50, 50 person on it. And then I create the pointer of input file. And then I open it again, check that it's not going to have error in open it. And the good way is that, okay, I, I know if I know that the data, I have a 50 data in the file, right? If I know it, then I can say that, okay, why I is uh, uh, smaller than the max cow or it mean that I going to lose until I get 50 data. So what did we do is this, okay, every time I list the file, and say that I'm gonna put the data that I need on the test data I. And each data I have size of integer because I know that it's integer. And every time I list is only one data and I have a P in this pointer to the file and I check it again, check it. If I ask to read five data, it's gonna return five. If I ask to read one data, it's gonna return one. If it's not match, it means that some other have occurred something like that. Or maybe, as I said that, okay, I'm gonna leave the 50 data, right? But our data in the file have like only 30 data. So when you leave the 31 data, it's nothing to read, right? So the F is gonna return zero, it means that we can read nothing. So you know you know that, okay, this file doesn't have a 50 data that I want at first, so I'm gonna bake it. So it means that, okay, you know that the file are empty right now. Something like that you loop again for I++ and whatever. Uh, use the F code. Actually, this one is not uh, in, the, in a good format because you have to carefully check the F code are working correctly or not also. But yeah, this is the way to read the file. And then after that, you're gonna bring the test data. You're gonna get all exactly data in the file in your variable right now. So again, as I say that you have uh, January in the type in the structure, January and February data. You create your own uh, empty January and February data at first. You get the file pointer input, open the file, check the file open correctly or not. Then you lead the data to the January. You know that January have thirty one day. So you ask them to read 31 time with each time a site of writer day three, because you know that it's in the structure by the day three, and it's gonna return exactly 31 data. It's not gonna display error, something like that. And the last thing you know that is you have to F code. This one is not correct. You have to check that F code are uh, working or not. But actually I have to say that 99.99% of the time, you of course are very correctly, but yeah, we are programmer. We have to check every case. So that's it, all we today for the everything. Um, uh, let me check.
Oh, yeah. Uh, one way is that uh, you have to carefully know your data because if you have structure, right? If, if you write data on your structure on the file and the people who receive the file do not know the type of your structure is, right? Like you, you, you may say that, okay, wait a day, whatever you say that we, we're gonna get the data, but you don't tell them that, okay, it's in integer, right? So you store it at a double, but the receiver thought it will be integer. And then when when they try to read it, is they misconnect the type of variable, and then when they need, when they read it, it's gonna be cause of error. So basically, you have to tell to your receiver what type of your stack is. So, but the best way is that you just write your stack in the header file and send the header file along with it. So the receiver or the other programmer gonna know what type of your stack is, and they can read in the right way. So and I say it's very important for the tie of the stock, the win of the everything in the file. And then for the last slide is talk about the advantage and disadvantage of each type of format. What when we use when we have to use take file, when we have to use binary file. The rule of thumb is very easy that the take file you're gonna check. Do you say you're gonna use it when you need people to understand your data, right? Or something like you're gonna leave your name on it, you put whatever that you, you need to people who carry it, gonna understand what the data you have is. But when you don't need people to understand it, like the image, like the the like a machine, machine sensor or whatever, you should write it as a binary file because it's much more convenient for your computer. It's gonna be faster. It's gonna be right. Uh, it's gonna be more private. It's gonna be smaller, something like that. So basically, that you write in the binary file are um, are better in most of the aspects. But sometimes you may would like to write it at a text file. So as I said, that if you would like to make people understand about your data, or sometimes you have a lot of things, you would like human to read it or something like that. But when you use would like to use a binary file, is that there's no need for human to associate associate with it. You have a lot of data because binary files are much more speed. I have a smaller speed. It also good for the computer. It's not gonna be a lot faster, something like that. Also, we have a lot of the file access, a uh, file position, or something like that. But I'm not. I think that this this function are uh, not necessary for you. But I'm gonna talk about it. Something like if C or if F. So if C or F tail gonna tell you is that is tell the file position where it where your file is. So you're gonna know exactly the location of your file. The exit is checking that the file are exist or not. So you're not gonna make a duplicate file. The only is mean that you delete the file. Um, this is very complicated. I do not gonna tell the, 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 the detail about it, but I would like to all you know that when you delete something, your computer is not actually delete. It like just stay like that. No one gonna touch it because to delete it is mean that your computer have to like spend the power on it, right? But the better way is that when you delete the file, it mean that I don't use it. Then when next data come in, they just overwrite. Uh, think about the painting. When you paint something and you would like to delete it, you do not put the white color on your painting, something like that. It, it's gonna waste your your pen, right? The best way that next time when you need a pen, the, when this time when you need the data, you just override the pen, something like that. But I'm gonna, I'm not gonna go detail about it. Uh, move the current position up to beginning the file. Uh, this one is very crucial. Uh, you may use it sometime. Uh, when you leave the file or write the file, right? The the pointer of the file are move along when you leave it, but. Like you, but when you would like to read midway and then start to read the first again, you would the revise. So if you move your pointer to be the first. 
and the stat or if stat tell you about the file size or, or whatever, the A tell you anything about the file. Or uh, when it come from the last time they edit the the how many data are in that something like that. Okay, that's all for today for the for the for the for the everything. Let me show you the code. Everyone is all right. I do not too fast. I don't make you confused, right? If you have any question, you can chat to me right now or whatever. Uh, yes. Uh, I, I wanted to ask you uh, for the editing file that you said that uh, it, it will like it stay. Uh, it's like it catch the data. You mean the unlink, right? Yes. Uh, I I would like to say that I do uh don't would love to go detail about it because it's gonna be a lot of stuff going on. But you're gonna learn it in the in the later year, like in the second year or third year. I don't remember. But basically, as I say, that is like you have a painting, you have a canvas. Uh, when you delete it, you not throw away it, or you do not write a uh, pen the white color to to make it to make it uh, a new pen. The unlink is mean that you forget it, and then the new data coming, then just they all write it. But the exactly detail you you will learn the later year. It will be a lot of stuff you're gonna learn about it. Oh, okay, thank you. Hello. Okay, anyone have uh, any? Question before I start the 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 code along. I don't say code along. The the way I would like to show. Okay, if no one okay have any question, I'm gonna show you this. Uh, let me delete something first. Okay, so. So I have a file in my uh in my folder. It's have uh this one is not this one is the the side. I have a uh, read write in C, the student header and the data. That that is mean that it the data write in the binary. Then uh, you can see it or not. Let me check. Okay, it's gonna lie in binary. You will not understand about it. Everything right in binary or hex, not not in binary, but in hex, his hex format, but whatever you can do not know about it, you can't understand it, right? The best way is you need to write a C program to understand it, and and I say that we use structure, and it's very really hard for people who for other users who don't have structure gonna read your file, so you have to provide them the header file that explain about your stacks like this one. You, you define that the Mac counterentity to make the people know that, okay, uh, data, uh, data set, we're gonna have at least, uh, sorry, sorry, X mode 20 data. And our structure is named student T. Each structure consists of the character of 64, which means the name, the integer is, the character of to be a gender, the integer of, Scared and then the double to be a GPA. So basically, it means the, the, the information of each student, the gender, the grade, and the GPA. And then I would like to, I would love to read this and try to understand what are uh, inside our data. So uh, is this site, this, uh, is it good? You can read it, right? Or uh, you would love it to be bigger? This one is okay. I think it's maybe okay. Okay, so at first you just the same way include everything, include the header file, and then define the file name. You may you may not define in this way. You can define in whatever way you love, but define in this way will be convenient for a teacher, for me, or for other colleague to understand that what you're gonna define your file name is. But if you have a lot of file, but you have like a lot of file to involve with it, the define this define way may be a bit 
harder or whatever. Okay. So you create a function that is this page student that take a given of student one student. Uh, let me show the, that function for this one. Really easy. You just take the data uh, take the data that is the structure of student that is only one student. And if you pin the name, the age, the gender, the quiz gate, and then calculate the GPA or whatever of that student. So basically, this is a function to display the student information that is. Okay, look at the main. That is okay. You at first you tell that you're gonna create a structure, student structure. You you are you actually already create it because you include the student header file. So the your C compiler you're gonna know what the student structure is, and then you say that we have only max how or we have only twenty student. You're gonna have a pointer of input file and output file. It have to be different. It have to be different. And the I, I think I is uh, stand for the number of students, the index of it. And I said that you have to open your file as a read binary. So it's a P input and you have to check it is can open or not. If it cannot open, it's gonna be result as now, right? Then you're gonna lead it. You're gonna lead it this way. So you say that, okay, if this is, uh, uh, you read the data in the P input or the pointer of your file, list one at times, and each time you read side of student T. So it basically mean that you're gonna read one structure each time. And each data you read, you're gonna store it in the student, you emphasize student I. So basically it's a pointer to store in the student index I's that is. And then uh, you use while loop because the if is gonna return one if it's successfully read, right? So when it returns zero, it means that error have occurred or it means that your file are empty right now. So the while loop gonna stop, right? Or, uh, and it's, or the i less than max count because every time the i is pass pass in, i increase and we talk that we only have at most twenty person in that stack. So in the, in that data. So when the i exceeds or when the i are twenty or twenty one or whatever or exceed the max amount, we're gonna stop the read process. And also every time we read the data, it's gonna use the function as I mentioned at first, it's this page student. So it will be this page each student each data you have read. Then. After this is finished, so you're gonna show every information of a student, and now your uh, your student variable gonna contain all the information about your student, right? And then as I say that you have to close the file. And the better way is have, you have to to do something like it again to check that the, your file are closing correctly or not. But most of the problem uh, occur in the opening file. It's very rare to have problem when you close file, but okay, it's still good to, to, to check it if you're not too risky. Then you create your next file, you, a P out, it means your pointer of your output file, the F open, you're gonna write in binary and you define the name of your file that you would like to, to write. Again, check the file is open successfully or not. Then the same way is that you write the file, but this time you just specify I because you know exactly how many data on the student, right? So you uh you pin the data, you you put the data in the in the uh pointer out or your your file is a data side of student T. You do it I time and write the that the data is, is in the student. And, and I say that if you would like to write 10 times, it's gonna return 10. So basically if it not return 10, or it mean that I, the, the function not return I, it mean that some error have occurred. So you have to pin error. And then F code, it mean that, okay, code the file. Again, it will be good if you check the F code uh, uh, run correctly or not, but it's very, very rare for F code to not run correctly. 
Okay. Uh, let me show the way to use it. Again, I use in the Mac and do not, I not use any IDE. So it will be maybe different from you. DCC, what's that? Or oh, uh, student, uh, with why? Okay, I execute the file. So I have this execution and then I run it. The read write. Okay, that is. You're gonna see that it's gonna lead the data on the student that that at first you can't you can't understand about it, right? It's gonna be your binary in the hexagon way or whatever. Is you can't read it by the human knowledge, human perspective. But you use your C programming, then it can read it and it show this. It's name legs, eight nineteen gender. F is mean female, they got quick get five times like this, and then GPA. They have a Suwani, 18, gender female, quick get GPA, something like that, 1D, shy what or whatever. And again, the process of this C file is that it's read the file, just this page is, and then exactly write the same file, right? So the new student that that is said in here that you're gonna uh, uh, write the data to the new student that it's gonna be exactly same thing as the student that that is and and let me show you that it's uh, exactly the same thing or not so I'm gonna put it on the reading I save. GCC again, I run it. Then this time, uh, if you read the new student that, uh, this file, right? And show the data. And you found that if data are exactly the same because the last time we just read and 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 pin and make new file the same way. So it start with leg 19, female, the exactly same kid again, so one knee, eight, 18, gender, if everything is exactly the same at the first file. So that is, this is the way to write and read the data. Do you have any question to ask? Uh, and I say that this one is really, really easy. You're gonna know that uh, like first half, the thing that I, I have to say is that leave you the knowledge about the variable, the site or whatever, but to read or write the file is very easy. You need the pointer of your file to be, if you need to read and write, uh, sorry. If you need to read and write, you have to make two pointer. You have to open it, say it's read or write in binary award, and you have to check it is early or not. And then you use the F read that every time it read, it's gonna return exactly number of time of you ask. If you actually 10 times, it's gonna return 10 or whatever. And you can check it is early or file empty or not. And then to do F course. And as I say that it's really better if you check F code early or not. But it's really rare to early. Actually, my entire life I never found F code error. But yeah, we are good programmer. You have to check it. And then the P out is mean that you're gonna write file, you name the file, you check again that is early or not, and then you write it. Tell exactly how many times you're gonna write it tell the side of the data you're gonna write and then uh, which data come from. Again, don't forget to check that if I are working correctly or not. And then F course again. That is, anyone have any question? I'm gonna give you a really, really quick, uh, I don't know if it's for a lab or not, but a very quick, 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 like party for you to party about the file. But Effort, do you have any question? I'm gonna guess not. I'm shut the good teacher. No one asks me if it's me that I teach teaching really good, right? Okay. <laughs> so, anyone get it? 
Right. So that is for that is for today. And I said we we have really short cards. But one thing I asked you to practice is that the the this file. I don't know that teacher have uh, sent to you or not. But if not, I will send it to you. That is uh is read the same file and write the same file. Right. So I am gonna ask you that. Okay. I don't want you to write the same file. You add one more data, one more structure that is your student information. You uh, write your name, your age, your gender, your quiz grade. So, so this one is whatever you want. You would like to get the full score in the quiz or whatever. And then your GPA, your expected GPA from this class uh, from graduate from this university. And then add pen it to your student structure and then write it. So basically you just uh, add it and it's just uh, added a good practice for you to know about the, the way to open or closing the file. Or maybe you would like to try to uh, not do the binary format. If you good, you read in binary, but write in non-binary, and then you're gonna find it that the data you write, what is happening. I'm not gonna show you, you type by yourself that, okay, if you not use the build binary, you just use the build. So it's write in text file. What's the text? What your the file gonna show? What the thing you're gonna see? Okay, that is for today. Nothing, no, no question. Good, good. Uh, someone raised his hand. Mm -hmm. Hi, okay. Uh, 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 on, on the group project of uh, Moloki, can we finish your sample or the dump uh, Sorry, sorry, I can't please. Uh, on the group of project of uh, Moloki, can, can we finish your sample or the dump select? Or, uh, Right. Oh, um, teacher may answer this better than me. <laughs> um, do you do you want to choose your group by yourself, right? Your own group. Yes. yes. I think I, I will allow you to 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 select your group mate by yourself. I think it might be better, right? But the number of the students in each group. I, I will talk with uh Anon and I will tell you, okay? okay it depends on the, the the how big of the project. Mm -hmm. The reason that I will have uh for the module, module yeah. three, right? It is about 20% from or of the, the course uh score, and um it will be the 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 group project and uh, you have to write a program in uh, like uh, for each program you have to separate into separated files and we are going to teach you again about how to do that normally when you write a file uh, like a program you need just only one one file and then you can compile it but for the group project you have to write a program in separated files and then you need to um to need some help from your friends in your group. So you need to, to do like, uh, to manage your team, to lead your team, or to, um, how can I say, to, to work in group, right? That is uh, one of the skill that you need to, to practice in this course, right? But the, the, the project will be uh, um, relatively small. Right, not too big, right? So I think there might be about five students in each group, okay? And um, okay, you will have fun with that. But I will, the reason that I, I, I try to uh, teach you this one, the file processing, uh, and because I want you to have at least one, one month for the, term, for the term project, okay? So that's all. Mm -hmm. Okay, one more thing because I'm you are, I'm I'm a, a graduate student from the in the venture I'm I'm right of you. That's four. That's older than you four years. So basically, when I started CPE one hundred, the same as you do, 
that time we study with the the teacher Sandy, but whatever. Uh, what in the final project is basically mean you sum up everything you you learn in the class, but mostly you're gonna use a lot of structure. You're gonna use a lot of file processing. So I'm gonna share my project is that that time I create a, a, a hospital database. So basically I have a structure of uh, 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 patients, the name, the what age, the gender, what happening with them, the birthday or whatever. And then the structure of the, the doctor, the nurse that is. And then we uh, uh, have an option for, for programmer to, uh, not for user that okay, they can look to every patient. We can look every doctor, then we can accept XI the patient to that doctor. So you're gonna know about the link list, right? Because you uh, create a doctor and then you're gonna link it to the patient. And that is that is my projects. Have uh, one data of the patient, one data of the doctor. And then you have a way to create a ring list that tell the each doctor, each nurse gonna take care of this patient. So you're gonna use a lot of pointer, use a lot of file processing and use gonna, a lot of structure. But that's not that hard. I working it for like a week, like uh for uh, like twenty hours or something like that for a project. Was, was that a CPE one hundred or data structure project? <laughs> CPE one hundred. CPE one hundred. Okay. Mm -hmm. Andy. The the project will be something like that. Just to uh, read from a file and then you have to process something and then write back into your file. Uh huh. What right. in my mind is about the uh, the point of sale. Uh huh. You need to because um now we are in the in the era of the e-commerce or the how can I say the live commerce, right? You may have to want a program in order to manage your stock, right? In the future, so maybe it might be a good way to have the project something like that for control your inventory system. Okay, it might be like that. This is in my mind, but I have not yet uh, derived the what will be the exact exact project for this term. Okay, thank you. So in the meantime, I think you have some examples about the, the file processing uh, C programs. Uh, you have to try to write a program to understand about how to access to the files, right? Uh, it seems like... Um, it's quite straightforward for the, the, the piece of code, right? But I think you need to maybe to delete everything and then you start from the sketch and then try to write a program by yourself. So you will understand about how to write a file process, files uh, to file processing. Uh -huh. And once again, right, normally for the C programmers, they always forget about how to close the, the file always. So, uh, my suggestion is that if you write F open anytime, you have to write F closed, right? F closed to match with the F open. That is my suggestion. But um, maybe if you write a program using the window format, right? Sometimes out of F closed is not important. But for the people who are writing the program using the Ubuntu or Unix system or like a Mac OS system, right? You have to, you don't forget how to uh, close the file every time, right? Otherwise you will cause the like memory file call dump or something like that. <laughs> this is my suggestion. So if you have time, please feel free or please be happy to try to write the program. Mm -hmm. They will not have the question right now, unknown. <laughs> right. Until they write the program. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. And yeah, today we don't have any lab. Happy for you. And prepare for the next week's exam on next week week. Yeah. No, no. We have to say next next week. All right. Uh -huh. Next next week, yeah. if <laughs> if they select the on the, the Friday examination, it's going to be next week. Right, but but I'm fine with any am, because am I, I right? I'm uh done like ninety percent. Uh -huh. am I right? Right, you're right. It's yeah. going to be the Friday um Friday the fourth, right? Or seventh Monday seventh, okay.
after the, the next exam, do we have another exam apart from the final project? No, we will not. The next exam would be the, the module two examination and it will be the, the last exam for this, for this course. Mm -hmm. What's happened? Okay. Oh no. Okay. Okay, I thought that was something. <laughs> I lost <laughs> the connection. Okay. Mm -hmm. But um, okay. Maybe we oh. have some because after, after because uh the next week will be the examination, but we still have some. Okay, you you need to do the project right and. Before you submit the, the final project, right? I need you to have the progress presentation, right? Because I I am I am quite sure that you will not uh, you will not do this project until um the deadline. So um my based on my experiences, right, I need you to have some presentations. Right during the time before you go to uh, present the final project, okay. So in order to make you that um, you you can, in order to guarantee that you have the step by step for this during doing this project, is that good, Anon? Yeah, it's good. And and what and uh, one student asked me that what is the topic? Uh, so everything except the file processing and the link is. This will be on the exams. Right. Including recursion, right? Um, array. Well, I'm not sure about the array. I also give you some hint that uh, my exam have like more than half using a pointer, the recursion, the function, the structure. So, prepare your, your pointer well. And again, I got really extreme test case. And I'm gonna <laughs> hint up to that. When you when you start with the extreme test case, what you have to do is like tie the uh, minus number, the negative number, tie the zero, and tie the really, really, really large number. That is more of my extreme case. Uh, In this module, uh, I've just uh, remember that um, the linked list examination will be separated. Mm -hmm. We have another small examination about linked list. Mm -hmm. Because linked list is quite difficult. I don't want you to be confused about the, the linked list with the everything right in the module too. So uh, I will have another examination for the linked list. Thank you for your question, for your asking. Uh huh. I forget that, Anon. Uh -huh. We are going to have also the, the link list exam. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Have... Separately. <laughs> okay, so it seems like there are not many topics about the module to exam, but you also need to practice a lot. Uh huh. Hmm? I beg your pardon? No, no, sorry, sorry. It's my mic. I opened oh. another one. Okay. <laughs> Even you didn't assign the, the lab, right? But you still have to try to write a program that uh, Pianon uh, will send you to the to the light group, right? Right. I'm gonna send you to okay. light group and then you try to and I say that add your data to the structure and try to write it and then try to not read or write in binary to see the difference what happened in your file. It's not gonna be have due date or you have to submit it, but it's really really, really good for your project, final projects.
Okay, I already put the file to your live group right now. You can skip it and you're gonna see the C file that I write nearly all of it. You're gonna get the, the student header. You're gonna get the binary file. Then you try to practice with it. And I say that add your name on it or change the way to read and write. Or if you love or have time, change the student header and change the structure or whatever and try to do it. That is exactly basically like half of your project gonna do. Read, write, add the data, write, write, read, read, something like that. Uh, I am going to ask the question from Jarukit uh, if they have a link list. I think there will be just only one problem for the link list for each person. It's not going to be the few problems like before. Mm -hmm. Good for me. Good for me. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. <laughs> 